Hello, dear viewers. Today, we will explore creating a simple file navigator using the TreeView element in the WinUI platform. This element allows us to create a tree-like representation of data with images and text for each item, making file system navigation more convenient. For illustrative purposes, we will create a simple folder navigator application that displays the user's drives and special folders in a tree view. Let's get started. Tree view, this is the root element representing the tree-like view. X name equals tree view sets the name of the element, which can be used to refer to it in C-sharp code. Horizontal alignment equals stretch and vertical alignment equals stretch. These properties specify that the tree view should occupy the entire available horizontal and vertical space, respectively. Margin equals 10, sets a 10 pixel margin from all sides of the tree view. Expanding equals tree view underscore expanding, specifies the event handler for the expanding event, which is called when a tree node expands. Is double tap enabled equals true and double tapped equals tree view underscore double tapped, allow double tapping on an item to trigger the double tapped event handler. Collapsed equals tree view underscore collapsed, specifies the event handler for the collapsed event, which is called when a tree node collapses. Tree view dot item container style, here, a style for the tree item container, tree view item, is defined, which is applied to all tree items. In this case, setter property equals has unrealized children value equals true, sets the has unrealized children property of tree view item to true. This property indicates that the item may have child elements that are not yet loaded. When this property is set to true, the item displays an expand slash collapse icon. TreeView.item template, here, a template for displaying data inside each tree item is defined. Data template, defines the structure of the item's content. Stack panel, this container holds a horizontal arrangement of an image and two text blocks. Image source equals binding image source width equals 32 height equals 32 displays the image associated with the item's data. The image is taken from the image source property of the data item and is set to a size of 32 by 32 pixels. Text block margin equals 0, 0, 10, 0 creates an empty space between the image and the first text block. Text block text equals binding text vertical alignment equals center margin equals 0, 0, 10, 0 displays textual information associated with the item's data. The text is taken from the text property of the data item and is vertically aligned to the center. Now, let's look at the C-sharp code. The main window constructor performs the following actions. Initializes components by calling the initialize component method. Sets the window title to folder navigator. Calls the initialize tree view method, which initializes the tree view. A class tree item is defined, representing a tree item, it has the following properties. Image source, the item's image. Text, a textual description of the item. Path, the item's path. A tree items collection is created, which will contain tree item objects. The initialize tree view method performs the following actions. Retrieves a list of available drives and creates tree item objects for each drive, displaying their icons and labels. Then, it creates tree item objects for special user folders such as desktop, downloads, and others, also displaying their icons and names. Sets the tree items collection as the data source for tree view, allowing the items to be displayed in the tree view.
The tree view underscore expanding event handler is called when a tree node expands. In this handler, the following is done. Retrieves a list of subfolders for the selected item, directory. For each subfolder, a new tree item is created and added to the tree as a child of the current node. The tree view double tapped event handler is called when double clicking on a tree item. It checks if the item is selected and expands or collapses it based on its current state. The tree view collapsed event handler is called when a tree node collapses. It clears the child items of the node and sets the has unrealized children flag to true to indicate that the node may have child items that are not yet loaded. In conclusion, we hope this video has given you an idea of how to use the tree view element in WinUI applications to create a convenient file navigator. This component makes file system navigation more intuitive and efficient. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and leave your comments. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.